Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find compound interest. The question says find the compound interest on rupees 100 for 2 years if the rate of interest is 10% per year. So first of all in these kind of problems we should first write whatever is given in the question. So let's write whatever is given. Given is the principal which is 100 rupees. Time is given as 2 years and rate of interest is given as 10%. So here we will first find the amount after 2 years. The formula for amount is P times 1 plus R upon 100 whole raise to power N or T where P is the principal amount. R is the rate of interest, N is the number of years and A is the amount. So let's find the amount. Principal is given as 100. So that's 100 times 1 plus R is 10. And here in the formula R is in percentage. So we need not to do anything. We will just write 10 here. 10 upon 100. Whole raised to power N. N is given as 2 years. So A equals... 100 times 1 plus so let's simplify this 10 upon 100 this 0 and this 0 get cancelled so we'll have it 1 upon 10 whole square a equals 100 times here this can be written as 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 10 whole square a will be equal to 100 times going to take the LCM of the denominators to solve these two fractions. So LCM will be 10. So this will be 10 plus 1 upon 10 whole square. Next step will be 100 times 11 upon 10 whole square. Amount will be 100 times 11 upon 10 times 11 upon 10 because it's in square. It's square. So amount will be equal to these two zeros in the denominator get cancelled with the zeros of 100. So we now have 11 times 11 in the numerator which is 121. So amount comes out to be 121. Now we have to find the interest or compound interest. Compound interest will be amount minus principal how much interest we are paying as compound interest we can get from this formula compound interest equal amount minus principal so amount is 121 our principal was 100 rupees we started with 100 rupees so compound interest will be 121 minus 100 which equals rupees 21 so compound interest is 21 so this is how we find compound interest on rupees 100 for 2 years. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.